Day 41, writing the eighth book of Divine Metaphysics. Every soul we will ever meet has been and will be every possible gender in the universe. There is no limit to what a soul can experience within the creation. When a soul has conducted themselves in such a way in life that demonstrates they have lost touch with who they are as an infinite and immortal child of the source of the light, they are kept in the self-reflective isolation for as long as it takes to be nurtured back to spiritual sanity. The source of the universe never punishes. Rather, each action or inaction in our earthly life bears the weight of spiritual and or energetic consequence in the grand master calculus that is the unfolding of the universe. The source of the universe doesn't judge but rather it is we who carry out this exercise on ourselves and one another. The basic principles of our existence can be summed up in this way. We are like a man who begins a sentence with no idea of how to finish it, trusting that something will occur along the way that will help it all make sense in the end. The world that we all know is transitory. None of it will remain in place for long and certainly not forever. That which we put our energy and belief into works best and with everlasting impact when we are consciously in service to the source of absolute truth. The most amazing game we could have ever conceived of is the life we are living now as an infinite and immortal being, as a human alive on earth. When we reach into our innermost self, we will always find just exactly what we need at any given moment. The key is to know how to reach into our innermost self.